Hi guys, and I'm back with this review of this really old um, Hornby Railways logo. I believe this is from the 70s, maybe 80s. Um, yeah, this is a logo I got um, commissioned at my local model shop in Burton. Uh, the reason why I got it commissioned is simply because there's an Alan, um, there's an Alan Mess, um Duchess uh, with the same name. And uh, yeah, they made a good pairing. Uh, so yeah, we'll get the loco out and we'll get we'll get on with it. Um, so yeah, it says old Hornby there. Um, it's a really old packaging. There's no, I can't I can't write any like R dot something. Um, so we'll get it out and take it from there. Um, it's it's the bulky polystyrene packaging. No um, details, uh, there it is. I'll get a better look here. King George VI. Um, surprisingly, for its age, it's got glazing. I, I, I'm not sure if that was already put in there or someone did it. It's quite a nice model for its age. I might have said that before, I'm not sure. Um, just got a bit of history on the, uh, the king itself. Um, king George VI. I believe it's the. Um, Current Queen's dad, but uh, yeah, uh, it is a bit of information. King uh, George the Sixth, um, Albert Frederick Arthur George, um, the fourteenth of December, nineteen uh, eighteen ninety five to the fifth of February, nineteen fifty two, was the King of the United Kingdom and the domin domination of the British Commonwealth from the eleventh. Of December 1936 until his death, he was the last emperor of India and the first head of the Commonwealth. So, so yeah, that's a bit of history I did myself. Um, sorry if the history is getting boring, guys. I, I just find it fascinating. So yeah, uh, we'll get on with the um, we'll get on with the logo this time. As you can see, it's a king. It has the uh, lovely. Um, well, different wheel set. Uh, saying this is a, saying this is um, a re uh, well, a 1970s, uh, early 80s one. Um, there's no plastic, uh, which is a bonus, I think. Uh, yeah, King George. It's been modified, so yeah, it looks a bit. Naff, uh, um, all the pipes, the handrails are all separately applied. Uh, we have the number on the door, uh, on the um, buffer beam, we've laid the rivets, we have a fucking pipe, uh, we have the, you can see the two cylinders there, uh, we have a step, uh, separately applied, no, I think it might be a separate um, smoke box dart, we have the copper chimney. Yeah, rivets around this the superheater there. Uh um so yeah. Um I think these are wash up plugs there. Uh then we have a different they have a whistle. And then we have the vents and there are more rivets. Then we have glazing and we have the number. And we have more rivets around the car. I've got a lot of rivets. Uh, Hornby, I don't know why Hornby didn't make these no more. Uh, uh, well, like this. Uh obviously, you know. We've got a flangeless wheel there. Uh, well, it's got a minute flange, but it's flangeless. And you see it's not Leco drive. Uh, but I'm sure if you wanted to put the motor in there, I think it could be done. I'm not sure. Now we have the Tendo. It's a great Western one. Uh, heavy, because the motor's in it. The coal, that isn't too bad for its age. It's, it's pretty nice. Um, then in the back, we have the steps. Uh, handrails, which seems to be moulded. Or just with well, the whole molded there anyway. Uh, yeah, I think they're molded. And you've got a lovely Great Western crest. GWR 6000 class, the Great Western Railway 6000 class or the King class is a class of 460 steam locomotive designed for express passenger works. With the exception of one Pacific, the Great Bear, 
They were large, largest steam locomotive built by the Great Western. They were named after kings of the United Kingdom of England, beginning with the monarch, um, king, the reigning monarch, King George V, and going back through history. Following the death of King George V, the highest number en engine was renamed after his successor, and the following abdication of, of the latter. The next highest engine was also renamed after the new king. Along with the Great Bear Pacific, there was also a Streamline King, which was um, two thousand uh, six thousand and fourteen. King Henry the Seventh uh, was also streamlined. Some information on the class uh, six thousand uh, power type was steam. Designer charge charge collet. Builders were um, Swindon Works, Great Western. Uh, built date. 1927 to 1928 was 20, 1930 was 10, 1936 was 1, in total there was 31 produced. The wheel configuration was a 460 by the um, Great Bear. There was standard gauge. They had... Um, Cylinders were four, two inside, two outside. Uh, they operated uh, under the Great Western and the Western region of BR. Uh, the class is 6000 or King class. Um, power classification was uh, Great Western special uh, BR8P. Um, they are free preserved and they they started redrawing the class um, in 19, the one in 1936 and 30 of them in 1962 and uh, as I said three were preserved and the rest were scrapped. Here is some information on the uh, model I just looked at. Um, the number is 6028 and the first grouping number is Great Western 6028. The name is King George VI. The class code is 6000, designer collet. Um, the wheel configuration is a 460. It was built on the 31st of the 7th, 1930 at Crew Works. Uh, the 1948 shed code is 83A, Newton Abbott. And the last shed code is 81A, Old Oak Common. It was withdrawn on the 30th. Of the 11th, 1962, um, at, and it was disposed at Newport. It was cut up on the 31st of the 8th, 1964. So, yeah, guys, there she is on the tracks. Um, she's a little noisy, but you know, 70s, you expect it. Um, so, we'll, we'll get her running and then we'll bring out, well, shall we say, a twin. Um, there we go.